Welcome to the reading of an abridged version of the new picture book, Elizabeth's Consolation Quilt, by STEM education publisher, Tumble Home Learning. This book offers parents and children an introduction to the ancient science of nautical navigation using the stars, wrapped in a beautiful and adventurous storyline. Read by the author and illustrator of the book, Olivia Fu. Elizabeth's Constellation Quilt by Olivia Fu. Elizabeth wanted to be a sailor, just like her father. His ship was called the Night Rose. A sailor sleeps beneath the stars, she told her mother. A sailor navigates by the stars, said Elizabeth's father. To become a sailor, you have to learn the stars. But to Elizabeth, the stars all looked the same. You have to imagine the constellations, said Elizabeth's father. Constellations are pictures in the sky that help us remember the stars. Like dot to dots, said Elizabeth's mother. I can't see any pictures in the sky, said Elizabeth. I'll never be a sailor. Elizabeth's father got ready for a long sailing voyage. Can't I come with you, begged Elizabeth. Not this time, said her father. I've made something for you, said Elizabeth's mother. Now you can sleep beneath the stars, just like your father. Elizabeth slept beneath her quilt and imagined that she was sailing with her father. She learned of the stars. Every week, her father sent a postcard that showed the constellation overhead at midnight. Then the postcards stopped coming. A notice came from the shipping company. We regret to inform you that the night rose has been lost at sea, it said. Elizabeth's mother cried for three days. But Elizabeth didn't cry. Father can't be lost, she said. He knows the stars. Elizabeth went down to the wharf and found a ship. She sold her bed, her chair, her fancy hat, and she hired the captain. The ship sailed north for three weeks. Elizabeth gave the directions. They sailed through storms. Elizabeth navigated by the stars. From the place of the last postcard, they sailed due north. Three days later, in the dark of the night, a red star glowed low on the horizon. Elizabeth checked her memory. Then she checked her quilt. That's not a star, Elizabeth said. Elizabeth's ship approached a tiny rocky island. The surf crashed around it like a water spout. When Elizabeth rode ashore, she found her exhausted father asleep beside a campfire. I navigated by the stars, Elizabeth told her father. Now you're a sailor, said Elizabeth's father. Let's sail a little farther, Elizabeth said. I want to see the northern lights. And so after sending a postcard home, they did.